What is good, everybody? It is your boy Super Saiyan Cat back with another, yes, another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot update video for you guys. Really not an update, more so it's just more gameplay screenshots. But we do get some information from these screenshots at the same time. Now, before we get into them, give a huge shout out again to Dragon Ball Hype and PS360 HD2 because without them, this would not be possible. So again, huge shout out to both of them for sharing this, um, these screenshots and stuff with the community so everybody can can see them now getting into these guys first and foremost there are 16 of them there are a lot um this time around last time i believe there was 12 which is still a decent amount but this time we got 16 new screenshots and mainly new gameplay screenshots of dragon ball z kakarot now the first one right here has me a bit um confused in the sense of i don't know if this is a story mode scene or if this is an actual tech an attack coming from piccolo or something like that some kind of animation um i truly do not know what is going on exactly here but I am assuming that this right here is a story mode cutscene at some point in time. And then moving on right here, as you see, one of TN's support abilities is actually going to be a tri-beam. I'm very, very curious in these support characters for reasons you guys will see later through this video and through these screenshots. But the support characters are looking like they can do a multitude of things, not just one single attack. Now this screenshot right here is definitely from a cutscene of Gohan running from Pickle, I mean from the dinosaur. <laughs> And then, oh, 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 I didn't even see my man. You see, you see this right here. You see my man's face? What? Kui, Kui, whatever, however you say his name, what happened to you, my boy? Oh, my God. Okay, then, Vegeta, you didn't have to do this, man. Like, this man, he, he got him all spray. He, got the, he, he almost hitting the split. His groins is tearing. This man's face is just looking like absolute despair and pain. Like, oh, my God. He, he, he literally looked like he's, he's about to die, which is basically what's about to happen anyway. So just wow, the, 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 that just looks amazing in the sense of how much detail, like look at my man, like do you see my man? He's like literally dying. Okay then, I see y'all, I see y'all, okay. Cyber Connect putting in that work. But moving on to the next set of screenshots, guys, this is what is starting to make me believe that assist characters are going to have a multitude of different things that they can do. Now, I don't think they're going to be type of characters to where they're always in the battle with you because it wasn't shown in the original gameplay, unless only when you have an assist type character can they be used in that fashion, because obviously Piccolo is a character that you'll be able to use in the regular game, not just an assist character. So I I'm just really curious to how these assist characters work, because in one screenshot we saw in the uh, other video, we saw Krillin doing a Kamehameha along with Gohan. Right here, we see him throwing some key blast, And then moving on right here, we see Yamcha using a Kamehameha. But as you guys will see in some more screenshots, he'll be doing some other stuff as well. But here also, Krillin is using a Destructo Disc. So the simple fact is um, that m all these assist characters will have a multitude of things they can do. It's not just going to be like a Dragon Ball Fighters type of situation or something like that, where you just press the button and they come in for a quick Kamehameha. Like that was kind of what people were thinking based off of that first Krillin screenshot, especially because he was using the Kamehameha. People thought you just hit the input or the command and that would be like the only thing that they can do. Clearly that is not the case. There are other things that these characters can do or other input slash commands that you'll be able to choose from for them now this is another example right here as you see yamcha's coming up and punching the cybermen right here that's another example of what these support characters most likely will be able to do in dragon ball z kakarot now moving on with these screenshots right here we see a little bit like of a charge it looks like he almost either charged at him or he's setting up for a kamehameha right here or maybe it's like a full-on combo thing where yamcha charges in and then goes for the kamehameha don't know exactly but that is what it looks like Based off this screenshot, it could be one of the two things, a shoulder charge or a Kamehameha coming right after a shoulder charge. But again, this just shows a multitude of things that these characters are doing. Here comes Tien with that punch. And for some reason, what's good with these characters with their faces when they punch? Like, look at this man's Tien. And now come look at this man Yamcha. What the, why do their faces just look so blank and like just disgusting? I'm not gonna lie, that's the one bad thing that I've seen of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot as far as looks go the entire time. Everything else has just looked flawlessly amazing. Now, moving on to the next one. This one right here, I believe that other animation that we saw with Yamcha is a shoulder charge because there's no way in hell Chaozu's about to pull out a Kamehameha out his ass. So that was definitely for sure a shoulder charge and Chaozu's actually doing the same shoulder charge here. So, so far what it seems like we can guarantee almost is that they'll have some kind of shoulder charge assist. 
some kind of regular punch assist, some kind of special assist, whether it be a Kamehameha, Tri-Beam, or something like that, and maybe even a second special. I don't know if they all will so far. The only one we've seen with two special attacks, as far as assist characters go, is Krillin with the Destructo Disc and the Kamehameha Wave. But, moving on to the next screenshot right here, this shows Chaozu's assist ability, I'm assuming it's a paralysis, that's definitely most likely what it is, and basically, um, you're going to want to use it to paralyze your enemy, I mean, it's paralysis, it's going to give you a wide open attack and things like that, so that's Ch one of Chaozu's assist moves at the very least, if they all do have two, obviously he will have another, but now moving on to some of the more, um, some more of the screenshots guys, and this one right here man, looks absolutely dope, love seeing my man Gohan looking fire right here with this, um, I forget what the 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 ability is in this game i forget the name of it exactly but it's basically kind of like an awakening mode in this game after you dish out or take a certain amount of damage this bar fills up and you're able to activate this which i believe gives you more damage and more combo potential at the same time so that is definitely a dope screenshot and a dope feature i believe of dragon ball z kakarot without doubt now another screenshot guys that absolutely blew me away right here you see this man vegeta you see him. Like, look how amazing the detail around this. This is just so clean, so dope. I cannot wait for this game to actually come out, guys. Like, this game is going to be so much fun, in my opinion, based off the things that we've seen so far, using the different characters, going through the world, going to different places. on that. Like, it's just going to be so much fun. Hopefully, hopefully, our hype is not let down by bad gameplay or anything like that. I'm hoping once we get our hands on it personally, we all enjoy it as much as we are honestly expecting and hoping to at the same time. Now, again, this screenshot right here, man, just probably my favorite through the whole thing. Like, just absolutely blew me away to detail on it, all things like that. Now, on to the next one right here. We just have Goku and Vegeta going at it. This might have actually been in the last set of screenshots as well. But then this last one right here is definitely, definitely new. As you see, Goku is fighting two of these robot things. These robots were actually something you would fight in Legacy of Goku 2 in Boo's Fury, in Kid Boo's Fury. So that just stuff like this, man, makes me really think that they are going that Legacy of Goku 2 slash Kid Boo's Fury route of a game, that type of style where you go to different places on the maps, you can encounter bonus missions, stuff like that. Now, the one thing that does seem to be majorly different is it's not going to be necessarily, you know, I guess you could say real time where, you know, there's certain games where you get into a battle and there's no type of load up or anything like that. That's how Legacy of Goku 2 was. Whatever enemy you found, you started fighting them right away. I do not believe that this game will be like that. I believe once you find enemies, it's probably going to be a bit of a loading screen. And then you're going to go into an actual type fight with either multiple of them or one of them, whoever knows, depending on the situation. Obviously, right here, we are able to see three different of these robots that were in the old school legacy of goku 2 and boo's fury so that's definitely something dope right there but all in all man these are all the screenshots once again that we've gotten of dragon ball z kakarot guys this game is looking absolutely amazing these two right here are without doubt my favorite screenshots of all the ones we got let me know which ones are you guys' favorite down below in the comments and how hyped you guys are just in general for this game as well but as always man thank you guys so much for watching really really hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you have a good day peace y'all